Hello audiences, welcome to the Rehab Pro Physio Plus Health Network. Today we will discuss an important topic. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and be with us till the end. Today we will learn about few life-saving techniques which will help you in any of the emergency medical situations. So let's learn about it. Step forward. The good is yet to begin. So let's start. Number one, nosebleed. Whenever you have a nosebleed, whatever the reason may be, then we bend our neck backwards and try to flush the blood inside. But this is wrong. It might choke your throat. So you need to hold your nose and close the nostril and breathe to your mouth till the bleeding stops. Number two, forcing a fainted person to sit up. If anyone faints before you, then first thing you need to do is check their pulse and breathing. But do not make them sit. Once their pulse and breathing is normal, lift their leg to 30 cm off the ground and loosen their clothes. Remember, you should not make the person sit up even after he gains the consciousness. There can be a chance of refinding. Number 3. Putting heat on a fracture. If you get a fracture, then you should not apply heat to the area because it increases the blood circulation in that area and also aggravates swelling. Hot pack can be appropriate for conditions like chronic back pain, but not in case of fracture. If you want to know more about the back pain, the link is in the description. So at this point of time, you need to apply ice pack, which reduces swelling, redness, brushing. But one main thing you need to keep in mind is, you need to cover the ice pack and apply for 15 to 20 minutes, but not directly over the skin. Number 4. Trying to remove debris from your skin. Whenever you get hurt, let's say a glass pricks your leg or the needle pricks your feet or you get hurt with a broken glass in your kitchen, then to remove it, you should use only the sterile tool which has lowest risk of infection. You can either use a clean cotton or a gauge. Number 5. Treating a burn too quickly. Whenever you get a burn, you need to apply a cold water or running water at the surface of your burn. Never do the mistake of taking off your hand from the running water once you feel the skin is cold enough. You need to at least expose the area to water for 20 minutes so that the cooling effect reaches the deeper part of your tissues. Number 6. Putting something on a seizuring person's mouth. If anyone gets a seizure attack in front of you, first of all you shouldn't panic and secondly, you shouldn't close the victim's mouth. Third, you shouldn't restrict the movement as it might be risky for that person. So in this situation, you need to make the person lie on his side, which helps better breathing. And clear out the area of dangerous object around him. Seizures last for approximately 5 minutes, so you need to stay calm and if necessary, take him or her to the nearest hospital. Number 7. CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation for heart attack. If anyone gets a heart attack in front of you, firstly you need to immediately call hospital and secondly start CPR or chest compression. According to the American Heart Association, CPR can double or even triple the chances of someone's survival. Even if the victim isn't breathing and there's no heartbeat, the body has enough oxygen that you can help it circulate and all thanks to CPR. Number 8. Not knowing what you are doing. If any emergency situations arises where you don't know the techniques of CPR, then do not imitate to perform it. If you do it, you're risking the person's life. So in such situations, call for the ambulance and trained professionals in the hospital will perform the CPR. Number 9. Using a tourniquet for the bleeding wound. If you get a deep cut, for example on your hand, then first of all you need to stop the bleeding. So use a sterile gauge or a cotton to wrap the wound and proceed to the doctor. We shouldn't use a cloth to stop the bleeding as it decreases the blood circulation on your limb and sometimes this mistake can even lead to amputation. So stay healthy, prevent infection and be conscious.